Welcome you guys, my name is Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and I'm here to help you save time and money by taking on projects around your house. One way to do that, quite possibly, would be with using shark bites. They're super flexible, you can use them on PEX, CPVC, or copper so they can meet a wide variety of applications around your house and maybe make those plumbing projects a little more approachable. Now a lot of people within the plumbing industry keep saying shark bites are new. They're not super new, they have been out since 2004, but they have ramped in popularity dramatically over the years. I know my area, Lowe's has huge sections of only shark bite, and it seems like they continue to expand every year. Now take a guess, jump down in the comments, and let me know in the United States per week, how many connections do you think are made with shark bites? Give me a number, I'll jump back to that here in a bit and let you know how many they are and it might surprise you. But first up, let me show you how to install a shark on a copper pipe and also we'll see the internals and how it's actually working. So let me show you how to install a shark bite but also look at the internals through this cross section. So this cross section has everything except for you'll see a little white insert. That is in there, you'll never remove it, but it's actually only in there for PEX to give the PEX a little bit more rigidity so then the, the shark bite will seal properly. So how the shark bite works is the, the pipe comes in and those little stainless steel teeth grab onto the pipe and hold it within the fitting. Then the actual watertight feature is this O-ring seal that will seal around your pipe. Now installation is very easy and we can demonstrate that with this half inch coupling. We have some half inch copper pipe. You wanna make sure that the end of your pipe is very clean and free of any slivers, which are called burrs. Now one way to deburr, you could have some sandpaper, you could have a deburring tool, but SharkBite also makes this versatile deburring and marking gauge. So all you have to do is insert that in the corresponding pipe and you'll see what's happening. The, that little cutting wheel there is actually hitting the outside of the pipe and taking any of those slivers off to make sure that the pipe is clean and ready to be installed. You saw the O-ring is critical to shark bites and that's why you can't have any sharp edges. Now the deburring tool also serves as a marking tool where you can mark right at the end and then you have a depth gauge to know you have the shark bite fully seated on the pipe. So let me show you how to install. You'll just simply install the pipe. Now you will feel some resistance fairly early on. What that is, is you're actually hitting that first set of stainless steel teeth. So you'll hit that set and then you'll push past those with a little force. Okay, now I'm pushing past those. And then once you push past those, you're gonna hit another stop. What that is, is now you're getting to the O-ring, but you need to push past that so the pipe is fully seated in the coupling or the cap or the T or whatever fitting you're using. So you apply a little bit more force and now you are fully seated onto the pipe. That's where many of the failures will come. You'll end where the pipe is just pushing on the O-ring. And of course, that's not gonna make an appropriate seal around the pipe, and that will lead to a failure. So that is all there is to installing a shark bite. And that is why from a DIY perspective, these can be very handy on your plumbing projects around the house. Now, shark bite is really expanding to a lot of different parts. You can get ball valves with shark bite fittings on them. You can get your on off valves for your toilet or your vanity or your kitchen sink. You can get a ton of other fittings. You have the classic T that we showed earlier. And then you can get an assortment of fittings where you have a shark bite end and then it converts to like a PEX barb. So you can go right into a standard crimped PEX connection and just numerous other examples where you'll be able to convert from shark bite to another type of connection. So whether you like shark bites or not, you have to admit that is a clever design and it's very versatile in its applications. Earlier, I asked you to guess down in the comments, let me know how many connections are made with shark bites per week in the United States. From the shark bite website, they say 1.5 million connections are made every week, which is a little bit mind boggling. And I do believe it gives some credit that shark bites are proven in the industry if that many connections are being made. 
even though I know a lot of people say they quote unquote leak. Let me know in the comments, let me know what you have seen, what failures you've seen of SharkBite, and let me know how that worked. Again, a improperly installed SharkBite that leaks, yes, of course it does. The O-ring wasn't fully seated, or maybe there's another issue. But SharkBite actually does back from manufacturing defects with a 25 year warranty. So they're standing behind their products. And just when you hold a shark bite, when you look at the design, they are very well made and very high quality. Now, before sounding too much like a shark bite fanboy and thinking everything is great about them, I do wanna state that I highly respect professional licensed plumbers. And I don't think there's any way to beat copper pipe, copper fittings, and a properly soldered joint by far the best thing you can do for your house, and it's gonna have the longest life by far. But what are the main cons of SharkBite? I think one right off the bat is cost. So if you're comparing a 90 degree SharkBite half inch fitting to a half inch copper fitting, you could be looking at 15 times more expensive. So that is a little crazy. Obviously, if you're doing a massive project and you wanna do all shark bites, you are gonna have substantial material cost increases. A, a standard copper half inch elbow might be 50, 60 cents, maybe a little bit higher, but you could pay eight, nine, or even $10 for a half inch 90 degree elbow if it's shark bite. So you can see dramatically more expensive. So that is one big downfall. And then I think there is a question on the O-ring. So over time, depending on your water, what minerals you have in there, will the O-ring dry out and ultimately fail? What is that lifespan? Again, SharkBite does give a 25 year warranty on the manufacturing defects. So at least they're signing up for 25 years of life for that O-ring. Now, what are the advantages? One, speed of install is fantastic. You saw that super fast to install and you're up and running. They can be installed on a pipe with water flowing out, which I think is a huge advantage. They are reusable. So with those caps, I like to have a half inch and three quarter inch cap with me at all times. I think it's a no brainer. And that flexibility on different types of pipe. I think that is a big advantage as well. Now, before I tell you where I actually use those in my house and where I don't use those, let me know in the comments, what do you think are the pros and cons or just give me your stories. Have you seen them fail? How have they failed? I always value your guys' feedback, whether you're a DIYer or a professional. Either way, thanks for the engagement. So where do I use them around the house? I had just done an install on an outdoor spigot, which was SharkBite, and I did feel comfortable using that spigot with a SharkBite connection and also the 90 degree elbow. Now that had access and I could see it from my basement. So it wasn't covered up, it wasn't behind a wall, it wasn't covered up by drywall. So I do wanna make that clear. I would be comfortable using those as on off valves for a bathroom vanity, a kitchen sink, at the toilet. I'm totally comfortable with all of that. And then in the basement, if I have exposed plumbing, again, I would be comfortable using SharkBite and I think they would, if properly installed, live up to at least that 25 year life. But like many people, I am still a little bit cautious on installing behind a wall. So that's my standpoint. That's how I have been using those. And no matter where you stand, I've never heard anybody say anything against the shark bite cap. These shark bite caps can save you a lot of money. So if you're in a situation for whatever reason you can't shut down the water, you can install this right on to the pipe and stop that water leak within seconds. So having a few of these readily available is probably a great idea, whether you're a DIYer or a pro. And you can look down in the description, I'll have links to the caps and a few other tools uh, that we went over earlier. Let me know what you guys think. Shark Bites definitely never have a lack of comments and lack of opinions, but I welcome it. I know I'm learning from that and hopefully you guys are learning from it as well. Now, before you take off, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, jump down there, hit that red button and the bell notification as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.